YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be an awesome video. I'm going to be installing my Haltech WB1. Follow along. Showing you guys what comes with the Haltech wide band controller kit, the WB1 single channel. Um, I opened it previously uh, just to make sure I had everything in there, but it comes with your O2 sensor. The controller itself, the adapter, the plug to go from the controller to the O2 sensor. It's just like that. This is wiring for it. This goes to the ECU. This little jumper on this. So, comes with a bung for the O2 sensor that you can have welded in. And it looks like an extension for the controller, which I'll be using now. I'm going to be installing this on my 2007 Subaru Legacy. Also, comes with this a little booklet. So this controller is going to go into my Haltech Elite 2500 and uh, this thing uh, should be straightforward. <laughs> Alright, first things first, I'm going to take the O2 sensor, I'm going to go to the bottom of my downpipe and uh, install this. Alright, the wrench size that's going to go to it is 22 mil, and it's going to go to tighten this guy right here, the O2 sensor itself. Now that I have the car jacked up, I'm going to go underneath and uh, install it into the bung. Now that I have the O2 sensor installed, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this plug, plug this end to the O2 sensor, and I'm going to feed this end right here through the firewall. Success! I got that wire through the firewall, came down, and now it's going to go to the controller. Alright, grab the controller, and then that wire that I fished through the firewall, it's going to be plugged into this bad boy. Alright, the harness is what I was talking about, is these guys. You see this four pin? And a four pin. Let me see if I can focus on on that. There you go. And there's a four pin. Also, it comes with this one as well. This has the four pin, and this is the male end, and uh, has these wirings to it. But plug it into the the actual ECU itself, and then it comes out to the male end. You hook that up, 
and then send it to the actual controller and then you need to wire a power and ground to this pigtail. I'm gonna use this wire stripper. This is a beautiful tool, great to use. And then I'm gonna be using these to connect the, the two wires together. These are the wires off the controller that I need to get power and ground to. And I'm going to tie it into the gauge that I have for the boost that I haven't wired up yet. I'm going to tie it off to this guy. I'm going to splice into it and uh, shall be good. here working his magic after I install the WB1 let's check and make sure that the, the map's good all right maze tunings inside the vehicle hooked up the laptop fuel pumps running That concludes the video for installing the WB1 and you guys got to see Lexi running. That was so cool. Shout out to Maze Tuning. Make sure that everything's running correctly. My air to fuel ratios are looking pretty awesome. Still a journey to get everything ready for proper tuning and drivability. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. And I hope you guys like, share, subscribe. That would mean so much to me. And peace.